for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Greetings everybody, Larry here with Larry's Fountain Pen, and today I am going to bring you a new pen. First of all, let me uh, touch on this a little bit. I've had viewers that have been asking me about uh, if I can do reviews on uh, gel pens and rollerball pens and ballpoint pens. And to be honest with you, I don't own any rollerball pens or gel pens. Ballpoint pens, I have one uh, zebra pen. That's all because I just don't use them. I'm a fountain pen guy and that's what I use. Nothing against those uh, other kind of pens, but I don't. But today, I, I went out and I, I crossed the line because I, I'm trying to reach out to everyone's different taste and there's so many so bear with me uh, I can't afford to pay top dollar for writing instruments unless I get them in an auction and a good deal because uh, if you kept up with me in my videos I have to really save my money to get the pen that I really want and sometimes it may take a year to a year and a half or so to get the pen I want but anyway uh, with that said I went out today and I, and I got me a cross pen. Uh, this is the blue lacquer cross pen. I wanted one with a fine nib but they don't have any where I went. I went to uh, Office Depot I believe and uh, and there also I looked at some roller balls and some gel pens because they do come in different nib sizes and you know I'm, I'm in the learning process of that. Uh, on a cross pen I had one before a ballpoint, the twist kind, the one, the real nice looking, uh, the gold one, uh, back in my 20s, I believe, and then I lost it, and so I've never replaced it, and so that was the end of it. I've watched some reviews on the pen, and uh, some of my viewers have made comments about uh, their interest in cross pens, and uh, some have left comments that they enjoy their cross pens. The medium nibs and the fine nibs, and uh, and they also make them in broad nibs. So, what do you say we open it up and see what this pen does? All right, finally got the package open. The box presentation, it is what it is, nothing fancy, and they're not cheap. And inside comes the box. But they do send a box uh, for presentation. So let me take out this and I'll get to the other part in a few. So this is how, if you want to give it as a gift to someone, which is nice, nothing big or fancy, it has cross, kind of like in the silver cardboard box. You would think uh, this pen would have a better presentation. What I like and don't like about a pen, this is one. I'm all about presentation. That's one of my things. Uh, I like to uh, keep a nice uh, pen box. So, uh, and this pen was, uh, well let's just say I think it was like 50 a little over here we go so get it back out again and uh, here's the pen it is a really nice color of a blue I love it uh, and uh, uh, since uh, 1846 the story of cross has been one of integrity craftsmanship creative spirit and the pursuit of greatness. So, again, this is the uh, Cross Bailey Blue Lacquer, made in China. And uh, that's all there is to that. 
So we just take out the box here and it comes with the usual standard instructions on it. Uh, cross. Of course they have a warranty on it. And uh, so I really love the color of the pen. I really do. What Something I, I, I don't really care for is the, uh, I'm going to go straight into the inside of the pen and then I'll come back on the outside. It doesn't come with a converter, ink converter. It comes with these little funky little icky little cartridges. I'm going to have to try to find an ink converter for it because I just don't really like these kind of uh, cartridges. I'm not much of a cartridge guy anyway. I like to use regular bottle ink myself. Uh, so, with that said, why don't we get ready to ink this uh, pin up. But, like I said, I saw them online and uh, the reason why I didn't buy it online because I actually wanted to to look at the pen in person to see what it really looked like before buying it. And uh, here it is. So, I'll just slip this jewel in. No problem, put it in. And then I better get some paper here. My desk is a mess because I'm doing a lot of projects so I can let you guys see and I think I've taken pictures before but if you would see my desk you would go oh my god Laurie what have you done well I'm in heaven because I'm with my family with my paper and my fountain pens and my inks and and my journals and it, it just it, it's great so I'm okay well I got it in and let's see if I can get some ink out of here no not yet and this is how I get mine started. And there's a little bit, and it's black ink, which is not my favorite. And it started. All right. So, here we go. Does it post? Well, let's see. Yes, it does. And, you know, uh... And it's okay. It's not top-heavy. Uh, it doesn't make the pen go off balance. It, I have small hands, so this, this pen really feels really nice in my hand. And uh, I am a bit surprised because not knowing anything about a cross pen, my first time I was very leery of it uh, to spend that kind of money on something that I really have no uh, knowledge of. I, I just hear a little bit there and here and there and uh, so medium nib uh, medium nib is my favorite nib but I've been getting into fine nibs uh, because some of the nibs that are medium uh, can uh, be a uh, oh lay down a lot of ink and sometimes look almost like a bone nib uh, so here we go we're going to do a little writing test first. Uh, this is a cross. Now that's nice. I like that. And this is the black ink. And I'm trying to find out what color of ink. And I'm not having much luck at it. Medium nib. It's a Bailey, and uh, any line variation? Probably not. No, not really. And how about upside down? It's a, uh, it's scratchy. So I wouldn't even try that anymore. So and it even got some paper up in the nib. That's blech. Okay. So let's do some writing. Yeah, 
I would probably like a fine nib, I think. But I do enjoy this nib. Yeah. Um, it performs very well. Let's check the wetness on it. And it looks wet to me. Yeah, I like it. Nice wet nib. That's a plus for it. Now, without the cap, I'll write with it. I, I prefer posting my pens, but uh, if it's going to scar, scratch up my pen, I, I, I won't do it. So we'll do this again. Okay. All right, folks. So let's get back to the cross Bailey pen again. The color, the blue lacquer, is really just a real nice finish on this pen. And uh, it really looks better in person actually holding this pen. It's really nice. The, the clip is functional and uh, it's not too tight, not too loose. It should fit well in the pocket. Um, and the pen does post, like I said earlier. And, but you got to really kind of push on it to make it kind of hold on. But again, it doesn't uh, cause any top heavy on the pen. It, it just feels nice in the hand. And my hands are small, so this pen really works well with small hands. Large hands... I'm not sure about that, but maybe not, but that's up to the person to determine that, him or, her, or herself. Uh, when you get down to the bands right here, can you see that in a little better? They have uh, kind of a texture on these two top bands right here. It's a little texture that you, it's hard to see maybe, but that's, it's there. And then the band on the bottom is a smooth band. On the top of the pen, the finial is round and with another round circle in the middle of it. With another thin band going around where the clip sits on. Go to the bottom. Uh, just a silver looking band that kind of narrows the tip out. So you have a a big cap here with a narrower barrel uh, and I like it. The, uh, the nib again is it's a small nib and it has the M for medium on the top close to the tip of the nib with the letter M on the left side right in there uh, and of course your basic cross design on the nib uh, not much other than that going on uh, it does feel really nice and I, I am I am somewhat impressed because I didn't think I was going to have a good experience with this but like I said one of my viewers or several of my viewers have uh, been asking about the cross pin the Bailey in particular so I just went out and got it now it didn't come with a converter and that's 
a bummer, so I need to order one that fits this pin because there's two kind of converters for the cross pin. There's one that screws in and one that just fits in. So I've got to find out which one for this converter, for this pin, excuse me. Um, with that said, I've then showed you the rotting sample. And uh, yeah, I am uh, enjoying this cross pin. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This is episode 100. Yay. And... Uh, Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about the cross pin. Do you have one? Are you interested in a cross pin? Uh, if you are, I can uh, tell you where you can pick one up at. And I might as well let you know now. Uh, you can get a hold of uh, Tom at uh, Gold Spot Pins. And uh, he has them there for sale. Uh, I didn't get this at Gold Spot Pins because I, you know, wasn't sure where I could find these pins at. Uh, so I didn't get them online. I went to a local store here and got it. But after I went to uh, Gold Spot Pins to see if they even carried this pin, which they do, they do sell the converter for it, which you'll need if you don't want to use the uh, cartridges. Now, I've been seeing in other reviews that they've come with five cartridges, but mine only came with one. So, anyway, so if you're shopping for a cross Bailey pin, check out uh, Gold Spot Pins, and uh, you can find one there. They have a really nice red uh, lacquer one that I saw, and I, I, I believe they're like 39 bucks. Uh, so, I hope you all enjoyed the view, uh, the uh, review. Hit that like button to let me know that uh, uh, this caught your eye or it uh, kind of helped you with uh, uh, your concerns about the Cross Bailey fountain pen. And uh, leave your comments below. I read all the comments and it really helps me to improve my reviews on what my reviewers, you guys, want to see, want to hear, and want to touch on, and it uh, leave me the feedback, which kind of helps me know uh, where I'm at on these reviews. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to do so, and join Larry's Fountain Pen Armory to spread the news about fountain pens throughout the world. It's going to be you guys to help keep the fountain pen alive. Thank you for watching. Be safe and don't text and drive till our next review.